picture Manchester United with the game, they relinquish their superstar and now have to shell out over 100 million euros to bring him back, a rather amusing twist. Yet, Paul Pogba's return to Manchester United for his first season wasn't a soaring success. On the field, his performance waned, registering a modest tally of nine goals and six assists across 51 games. Criticism swirled around his seeming lack of clarity in role comprehension and tactical discipline, drawing severe rebuke from English pundits. Jose Mourinho, helming Manchester United at the time, stood by Pogba, chastising critics as Einstein for hastily judging the player. Despite falling short of the lofty expectations befitting a 100 million plus transfer, Pogba's contribution wasn't entirely negative. His defining moment emerged in the Europa League final, where his 18th minute strike against Ajax propelled United to a 2 0 victory, clinching their first continental trophy in nine years. While Pogba's recent seasons lacked consistent brilliance, he remained a pivotal figure in crucial encounters. In the 2017 2018 season, however, Challenges mounted for Pogba. Though statistically he contributed slightly better with six goals and 12 assists across all competitions, his campaign encountered hurdles. Despite a promising start with two goals and two assists in initial games, a thigh muscle injury disrupted his momentum. Upon recovery, Mourinho lambasted Pogba for apparent lapses in discipline and tactical understanding, favouring Scott McTominay over the ostensibly erratic Pogba. Yet, amidst these struggles, Pogba etched an iconic moment, scoring a brace against Man City, securing a sensational 3-2 victory for United in an away clash against their formidable rivals. However, this moment might stand as Pogba's highlight of the season. Amidst sporadic injury setbacks, Paul Pogba secured a spot in France's 2018 World Cup squad, displaying his impact by netting the decisive goal against Australia. His pivotal contributions extended to the final, where an astounding strike from outside the box swelled France's lead to 3-1, culminating in their 4-2 triumph. While inconsistent at club level, Pogba showcased his world-class prowess with France. In the subsequent 2018-2019 season, he delivered a remarkable performance, amassing 16 goals and 11 assists in 47 games, coupled with commendable fitness throughout most fixtures. However, the dawn of the following season saw Pogba falter under Mourinho's criticism, leading to his benching in key games, including a pivotal defeat against Liverpool. Mourinho's departure and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's arrival signalled a resurgence for Pogba, marked by impactful goals against various teams. Yet, inconsistency marred his performances, drawing scrutiny despite concluding the season as his most productive. Post this stellar season, Pogba's trajectory plummeted. Amid links to Real Madrid, he voiced allegiance to Manchester United, enduring fans' ire due to his patchy displays. A series of ankle injuries disrupted his rhythm, a setback that commenced during a match against Southampton, sidelining him for a month. Although his return against Arsenal showed promise, another ankle setback ensued, ruling him out until December. Attempts to rejoin the squad against Watford and Newcastle were short-lived as another ankle injury forced surgery, sidelining him for several months. Ultimately, his season culminated in just one goal and four assists across 22 games, predominantly due to injury, signalling troubling signs of Pogba's struggle to maintain consistency. In the 2021 season, Pogba grappled with persistent injury woes, particularly plaguing his ankle and hamstring. Despite these setbacks, he delivered a relatively commendable performance, netting six goals in 96 games. The addition of Bruno Fernandes to the team exerted a positive influence, uplifting the squad compared to the previous season. While Pogba's prowess should have positioned him as Manchester United's premier figure, the rise of Bruno seemed to eclipse this narrative. Nevertheless, the team's overall performance shone as they secured a Champions League spot for the upcoming season and reached the Europa League final, albeit losing in a penalty shootout against Villarreal after a marathon of 22 penalties. Pogba's form remained intact, earning him a place in France's Euro 2020 squad. His standout moment involved assisting Karim Benzema's brace against Portugal, securing France's group winner status. However, their journey was marred by a loss to Switzerland culminating in a disappointing tournament exit. However, the 21-22 season marked a downturn for Pogba. Across 27 games, he tallied only one goal and nine assists. 
a red card within 15 minutes of his appearance against Liverpool precipitated a dismal 5-0 loss for Manchester United. Subsequently, a severe hamstring injury prolonged his absence for several months. This, coupled with diminished prominence in the squad, foreshadowed Pogba's imminent departure upon contract expiration, a prophecy fulfilled in July 2022, as he announced his return to Juventus on a four-year deal. Upon rejoining Juventus and donning the revered number 10 jersey, Pogba's prospects as a key player in the squad seemed promising. However, misfortune struck in a pre-season friendly in the United States, sidelining him for two months due to a meniscus injury. Controversy surfaced when Pogba's brother, Matthias, released videos leveling allegations against Paul, including involvement with unsavory characters and a purported witch doctor's curse on Kylian Mbappe during a Champions League match. The tumult within the Pogba family didn't just impact Paul, he disclosed being targeted by bullies during a friendly match in France with the national team. Recounting the incident, he revealed how old acquaintances lured him to an apartment, attempting to pilfer his money. Shockingly, one of these friends even tried to swipe 200,000 euros using Pogba's credit card. The upheaval engulfing Paul Pogba seemed absurdly relentless, further exacerbated by his anticipated fitness for the 2022 World Cup. However, a major setback thwarted his participation, despite France reaching the World Cup final for the second consecutive time. Finally, in late February, Pogba made his second debut for Juventus, subbing in during a match against Torino. However, his return journey faced immediate hurdles. A red card in a Europa League encounter against Freiburg, stemming from his tardiness for the team's dinner, marked an inauspicious start. Shortly afterward, a muscle injury sidelined him for about a month. Upon his comeback against Sevilla, Pogba facilitated Juventus's late equaliser in the Europa League clash. Yet, misfortune struck again during the game against Cremonese, resulting in another muscle injury sidelining him for the remainder of the 22-23 season. Consequently, his stats for this season merely reflect one assist in 10 games, a bitter disappointment for the player. Pogba's world-class allure has significantly waned, owing in part to unfortunate injuries hindering consistent performances. Moreover, his market value has plummeted by 18 million euros, a stark contrast considering his prominence during his Juventus tenure. Despite being one of my favourite players during his Juventus days, witnessing Pogba's decline due to inconsistent performances and persistent injuries is disheartening. While there might still be a window for resurgence next season, given his age approaching 30, the legacy of Paul Pogba seems undeniably compromised. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Your support means a lot for us.